Uh, my name is Samira Mitchell. I go to Little Black Pearl Academy and I'm 17 years old. I feel like the people of Chicago is upset by Rahm Emanuel the most because they feel the change. They feel the shift that change is happening. Some may be scared of change, some are scared of change. But at the end of the day, we need something. Something needs to change because we're not happy. I mean, I hear people complain every day. I mean, when you ask for somebody, when you're voting for someone, the first thing you think is, well, who's going to change? Who's going to change something? And I feel like Rahm Emanuel has proven multiple amounts of time that he's willing, that he wants to change. He's changing things. And I feel like now that it's happening, that people in Chicago are upset. I feel like they shouldn't be at all. I feel like they should be open to change. I mean, it, it may affect some people in negative ways and some people in positive ways, but at the end of the day, it's affecting Chicago. And that's what we want. That's what the mayor wants. That's what the mayor's job is. I feel like people can be very selfish. I mean, Rahm Emanuel is trying to better Chicago is one. And I feel like they need to understand that he can't look at every individual person. I mean, Chicago, I, I heard people say that Chicago was like two cities, which I, I, I get why they say that. And I feel like Rahm Emanuel is trying to make Chicago one city. He makes brave decisions. That's why he's such a great leader. He makes the decisions that others would be scared to make. That's why he's a great leader. I feel like he isn't scared. He's not, he's not afraid of anyone or what anyone thinks. He makes decisions, I don't know, he makes decisions based, based on what's better for Chicago. I mean, and some people say that closing the schools would mean that they're kids would be unsafe. At the end of the day, I feel like society shouldn't isolate themselves from anyone, anything. I mean, God put us on earth. God put us on, put everyone on earth. So to create these walls, like someone couldn't cross these streets. If you feel that way, I feel like a, it takes a community to raise a child. So if the community feels like this, it's too unsafe for us, anything like that. First of all, why would you want your child to be anywhere where you feel it's unsafe. So make it better. I mean, you guys could orchestrate, put something together where kids could, where parents could wake up and take turns walking a child to school, anything like that. I mean, I feel like people just make excuses. And like I said, I feel like they're selfish. Uh, so Rahm Emanuel came to my school. I was like 20 feet away from him. He was in a cafe and I was in Teen Texas and working on yearbook. Supposed to be working on yearbook. He came into my classroom. It, it was crazy because I was talking to my teacher. <laughs> he was like, what if he was walking through here right now? I was having debates with like another student about the mayor and everything. And then he walked through the door. He walked into class. And I wasn't doing any work because I was too busy debating on whether <laughs> arguing with people about what the mayor does and who he is and why I feel like he's so genuine. We got into this big, big argument and he walked into class and I had, no, I had no work up and I was embarrassed, I was ashamed. He touched me, I was happy, <laughs> I did the most. And then he walked out and he came back and I still had no work up because I was so busy talking about the mayor. Yeah, I was still disappointed, very much so disappointed <laughs> in myself. But at the end of the day, I saw the mayor. I was excited. I have been talking about him. Uh, we have been watching the old episodes of Chicagoland earlier that week. And I was just like going on and on and on and on about how I was going to join politics because of him, do all of these crazy things because of the mayor. I mean, like, I admire him. I look up to him. I feel like, I don't know, he's that person that challenge he challenges himself and he challenges everyone else I mean it upsets people at times but I feel like that's what we need we need a warrior and I feel like Rahm Emanuel is that warrior he's not afraid of anyone or anything and that's what we need and I don't mean to go in on Chuy Garcia I'm pretty sure he's a great person but I mean if he was to win I feel like he'll win by pure default just because of the simple fact that everyone is upset at the choices that the mayor has made. I'm pretty sure the mayor thought that they were difficult himself, but 
I feel like if he won, that it would just be a host. That's it.